who would have thought that we'd be rooting for this former villain? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 times Petra Solano was the best character on Jane the Virgin. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at our favorite moments from this complex character in the romantic dramedy. We'll be talking about major plot points, so this is your spoiler alert. Number 10, not Petra Tattoo. If you grew up watching the Olsen twins, you might think that having an identical twin sister is fun, but this show will dissolve this illusion for you. I'm not going anywhere. Aneska. What? That's right. I know who you are. Twin sisters can put you in a coma and steal your life right in front of you. In Aneshka's defense, she was being controlled by their mother, but Petra doesn't take chances. Thank you for not sending me away. My children are bonded to you. It's the only reason I'm allowing you to stay. To make sure it doesn't happen again, she has a big Not Petra tattoo put across her twin's forehead, and it's not pretty. Not so identical now, are they? But Petra was so done with nice. So I am done with nice. Number 9, when she bought Jane a house. Jane and Michael were having a hard time finding a house in their neighborhood within their budget. There are seven people on the list already. Everyone's putting in an application, so you'll have to write that letter selling yourselves to the owners. What makes you guys the perfect tenants? They were considering moving further away from everyone, but St. Petra steps in to save the day. She actually buys a house for them in secret, but still makes them go through the buying process, including writing a letter on why they deserved it. A lot of fans were not expecting this at all, as Petra and Jane were barely friends at this point, so her motives were unclear. Do they have any idea I'm the owner? Between the other couples and the letter? No. They have no idea. Good. It turns out she was just turning over a new leaf, and Jane had just helped her through birth and postpartum depression and all. And God said, let there be light. Um, there was light. Number 8, when she gave birth. Poor Petra always has to go through things the hard way, and we know labor isn't supposed to be easy, but come on. Does it feel like you're peeing? Yep, just feels like you're peeing. Oh my god, I feel like okay, I'm peeing! Alright, stay calm, we're gonna go to the hospital. First, her water breaks at a book signing, then she finds out that she can't get any painkillers because her platelets are low. Look, if there's a 50% chance I won't die, I'd like to go for it. She's kidding. No, I'm not kidding. Two babies for the price of no pain medication is a rotten deal. To make matters worse, Raphael is stuck in traffic. So Jane steps in for Petra's long and painful birth. Petra pushes through like the queen she is, with check curses and some tough love from Jane. Five minutes of pain for a lifetime of happiness. <laughs> Number seven, trying to impress JR's friends. Hey, I'm going to the bathroom. You can't get the Do you want to come with? Me no, I'm happy hanging with the girls. <laughs> One of the scariest things about a new relationship is the inevitable meeting of the friends. Petra definitely felt the pressure with JR, and it brings out an interesting side to her that's hilariously awkward. This isn't really your scene, huh? Or partying in general? Are you kidding? No, I love to party. Me and my friends get lit. She makes bad small talk, stalks JR's friends on Instagram, and even wears jeans. Even though Petra really tries, maybe a little too hard, JR's friends just don't like her. She even dances, oh how she dances, but her moves are more those of a wacky tube man waving its inflatable arms. Show JR's friends that I am not now stuck up, that I can be fun. Look, like you're having fun, yay! Leona may not trust her, but it doesn't matter because JR has her back. Number six, fashion icon. Are you stalking me? What? No, I was just meeting someone. <laughs> <laughs> Same place you were, evidently. We can't go through this list without including Petra's incredible wardrobe. Since the show is set in Miami, Petra has had to adapt her business wardrobe for a warm climate, and she kills it. We are living for all the pastels and the revolutionary formal shorts. These seriously need to become a thing. Costume designer Rachel Sage Kunin and Petra actress Yael Goldglass had two words in mind when creating Petra's wardrobe. Powerful and feminine, and they definitely nailed it. The book's away, girls. It's time for brunch. Between rompers, blazers, and fitted dresses, Petra always looks stunning, and there's definitely no question about who runs the Marbella. Absolutely. Yes. Number five, always the bridesmaid. Well, actually, in this case, Petra has always been the bride and actually wants to be the maid of honor. When Jane and Raph finally get engaged, Petra practically begs Jane to be a part of the ceremony. Okay, first you abandoned me, and now this whole maid of honor thing? I've never been one, okay? And even though I don't want to wear some poofy 
mint green dress, I was willing to do it because it's something people do when they have good friends and you are my only chance. She even wants the ugly dress, and boy does Jane deliver. Petra may be a fashion icon, but she still puts on the mint green beaded monstrosity complete with choker and yet somehow manages to pull it all off. Oh wow, you actually wore it. In the end, Jane and Raph fight over Petra and she becomes Raphael's best man. I know what it's like to feel abandoned. And through it all, Petra has been a constant in my life, for better or worse. I really want her by my side for this. Ugh, okay, fine. Number four, Tent Sisters. You know I love you. Yeah. But do you like me? Well, yeah. Mostly. One of the challenges of being a parent is that you have to practice what you preach, or the kids will take advantage. When Jane and Petra start fighting, Ellie, Anna, and Mateo send them to the tent with a talking stick to work it out. If you're fighting, you should get in the tent. Go. Yeah, 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 get in the tent. Seeing two grown women sitting in a tent is hilarious, but the moment turns very sweet. It starts with Petra admitting to feeling left out of Jane's life, and ends with them calling each other sisters. I understand that you felt neglected because of the whole Jason business, but Raphael didn't mean to leave you out. He's not the one leaving me out, you are! Petra has ditched her toxic biological family and is making her own, and we love that for her. I didn't grow up with a sister, but I feel like I have one now. Number three, when she impregnated herself. Petra is a strong, independent woman, and she doesn't need a man to conceive. Your husband's original sperm sample was split into two vials. One was misplaced. We've just found it. So when she found out that there was still a sperm sample from Raphael kicking around, she got to work. She got drunk, found a turkey baster, and, well, you can probably guess the rest. A sandwich and the extra turkey baster? Perfect. Thank you. This moment may have been ethically questionable and sneaky, as this is season one Petra after all, but it is also a big turning point for her, and Raphael eventually forgives her. Seriously though, only Petra could get twins out of a turkey baster. Number two, Petra the Tooth Fairy. You're real. Of course I'm real. Though not all children get to see me, only the special ones. It's no surprise that Petra would raise two direct little girls, but it was still shocking when they told Mateo that Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy aren't real. Comes in the night and brings you money. That's your mommy, silly. Your mommy is the Tooth Fairy. Are you mommy? At first, Petra was on their side, but when she saw how upset it made Mateo and Jane, she went a little extra. She dresses from head to toe as a fairy, sneaks into Mateo's room, and is promptly tackled by Jane. Her heart was in the right place, but maybe next time she should give a little warning. We mentioned that Petra is a fashion icon, and this is definitely her most magical look. Before we reveal our favorite Petra moment of all, here are some honorable mentions. Bye. I'm really gonna get you off. <gasps> hey, do you wanna know their names? Oh. Raphael and I already decided. Elsa. And Anna. <laughs> What? Elsa and Anna. Like in Frozen? What do you mean? That's the names of the sisters. In Frozen. The movie? Oh. Tell Jason to leave. He has a life in Montana. You have yours here. What you have with Raph is good. Don't risk it. You can't cancel brunch. Have a seat, girls. Um, what's going on? It's brunch. And... I need to make things right between us, so I'm here to cook everyone a traditional Czech breakfast. Jane, I'm so sorry about your mother. Uh, I brought you some Czech comfort food. It's soup to soothe the nerves. Number one, when she told Jane she loved her. Just get over it! Everyone's not going to love you! That is not what this is about. Then so what is it about? You, okay? It's about you because I love you! Watching Petra and Jane's friendship develop has been one of the highlights of the show, and this moment really brings it together. Jane tells Petra how much she loves her, but it takes a little prodding for Petra to say it back. And like I said, I love you. Well, thank you. Petra asks if she can say it in Czech, but Jane will only accept a full English I love you. It's just so Petra to hide her feelings. You have to say it back. I don't want to. Petra, can I say it in Czech? No, I want it in English right now. Fine. I love you too. But when she opens up, it's beautiful. Especially when they hug it out and Petra plants an adorable little kiss on Jane's forehead. Just don't cry in front of JR. Ever. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.